very quick video because I've not got a lot of battery and I haven't really been able to charge it up properly at the campsite. It's not very good for that sort of thing. So this is, a very, this is me, this is Sheila. Day two, climbing up a part of Cheddar Gorge in the wood, en route to Black Rock, Sil um, Silver Bottom, the Aerials, and um, then Piney Slides, you know, Longwood area all round there. Now this rucksack I got on is okay, but they didn't fit the pockets where you put your water bottles in properly. They got them facing the wrong way. So instead of just literally, literally going like this, they've got them going like that, and it's really awkward to put my bottle back in. There we go, good old cheddar. I spoke to the postmaster this morning when I was checking for taxis. And he said, because I've got to get a taxi because it's so difficult to get out here and it's going to cost me at least £20. Pound. Um, <sighs> what I'm saying is, um, I asked the post, he was telling me all about the 126, how stupid it is, how they can't just link uh, Axbridge to Winscombe and join them. You know, at least one of the buses go there and drop people off. Yeah, you know, it's apparently it's the two councils are doing this, and then, but neither of them are back off. They won't do that one link, and it's causing aggro for everybody. This West Link thing's ridiculous. You can't be spontaneous. You've got a book, and it, you don't always know what time you would want to come back. You, it's too planned. I mean, when you've got a proper timetable, yeah, you think, oh, I'll get the four, I'll get the five, or I'll get the six. With this, my phone's not working properly. I can't text at the moment. I've got to take it into a shop and let them show me how to get the the text part back. Um, so anyway, a short video. I'm at the top now. I've just climbed up from Cheddar. I'm just uh, done a bit of water loading early in the walk. You never leave it, you do the loading early. Same with running. I learnt all that in my running days. You load prior. You carb up prior. So I had a lovely, lovely senior meal actually at the chip shop. It included a massive piece of cod and not too many chips. And I also, they didn't have a savloy, so I had a, a big sausage instead. And it was lovely. God, it was gorgeous. I like the space. I like my new tent. The only thing is, I think they've left off flaps. Because what it is, parts of the tent, back and front, have got flaps to keep the drafts out. But the two sections around the sides, I knew it helped keep you cool if it was really hot, but it also lets the cold in. Um, I, now, I brought the summer sleeping bag. No, I should have brought the winter one. Very cold. I had to put every single bit of clothing I've got on. Everything. I was wearing like four t-shirts, a jumper, a scarf. In the end, I put my trousers back on as well. Tonight, I'll go... I didn't do that until about four in the morning when I woke up cold and needing a wee and had to go out on the wet grass to find the toilets. And um, and I was already cold then, so tonight I'll dress up before uh, when I go to bed rather than leave it. These are all parts of the joys of rambling and camping. I've met a lovely, lovely person earlier. He's just started exploring the West Mendip Way. He's just, and he's bought all the gear. He must have spent a lot of money because he had this little pack on his back. He said, I've got everything in it. He's probably got a one-man tent. He's got thermals. And I, f I didn't think I'd need thermals in the summer. Now, last year in the heat wave at Porlock, it was a bit nippy, but it was a heat wave. I went away in a heat wave. But you could still feel a bit of a chill. But here, no, I got quite... I was a bit worried for myself, actually. Anyway, 
I managed to get back to sleep again once I've wrapped myself up and cocooned myself in this very lightweight sleeping bag made of silk. Which made me slide around a lot. It was so mobile. So it's a nice little sight. I pinch, pitched my tent lovely. There was no rain. And uh, this is the main walk of the whole visit. It's taken me a long time at the moment getting up the hill. I've got a lot of walking to do yet. Over and out, everyone. This is Sheila. Not a lot of batch. Yeah, I've got the charger, but I'll come back on later when I've got right up the top. Over and out. Just a brief video for the both the card and the battery ran out. I forgot to unload previous stuff. But right over there in the distance is Crook's Peak. Right over there. Um, oh no, it won't home in on a video, that's right. So I'm sat on a little stone, I sat with Daisy about... Oh, I don't know. Eight years ago, something like that, we sat here and looked at this view. I've just done what I class as the hardest part of the walk for hill. Just coming up, that's the longest, hardest part of the walk. There's Brent Doll there. Glastonbury's behind the trees. In the winter you can see Glastonbury easily. Um, Draycott sites will be behind, you can't see them at the moment. Of course Cheddar Gorge is there. I'm just going to swap over memory cards now because I think this one's going to pack up. So is the memory. So this is Sheila, 20th of July 2023, on her little summer camping trip. This is supposed to be a good day, over and out. Right, I'm expecting the battery to go over any minute. It's flashing now to warn me. I've changed the card over. So, um, but I'm on the north side of the gorge in the peak of the summer so you've got all the ferns everything is green and you can't quite see as much as you can in the winter with of the gorge in a way but well, you can see it this is the gorge i've put some spray on to repel any possible ticks and mosquitoes and gnats and all that it's keeping them away so far Anyway, I stopped back there and had a lovely little snack and some water and uh, just got my breath back. I did put, um, have to have a few, I've had to use the inhaler quite a bit. This, the pollen counts are very high. Hey, look at that lovely gorge, look at everyone. And as you know, I have taken photos of this for many years now with different cameras of different quality. Um, this one is not an excellent quality one, but it's great for size and weight. I, it would have been really, really hard work taking the Kodak, which is so bulky. I mean, the Sony's are all right. They would fit in my pocket. I do like the, the um, Kodak, and of course, it's only not coming because I already got enough to carry one, you know. So... Basically, everybody, I'm over here at Cheddar. Now, it might it took me quite a bit of time. The hard work was done going up the hill, coming out of Cheddar and up. That was the hard, really hard bit. There are shorter hills I've got to do later, but that took the longest, and, and I deliberately went slow. I didn't want to get too breathless. Um, so, as people probably know, I broke my wrist and it, it, it affected me, actually, in lots of ways. But it's doing, my wrist is doing alright, but my old knee injury from falling off a, a ladder putting curtains up, that uh, always aggravated in the summer. It settles down in the winter when I don't do the long walks. So that's had a good dollop of, um, Voltro gel, and it'll get another big dollop tonight. Now, I was just talking to a person, various people actually, saying that's supposed to be getting colder at night. So if last night was cold, it's going to be colder tonight. 
So I'm taking extra precautions tonight and I'm doing it right away. Rather than wait to four o'clock in the morning when I'm already cold. It's harder to warm up then. So I might even be putting um, like my windshields on. Anything to keep warm. I need to, I always thought I ought to get thermals really. You can get lightweight ones. I mean a bloke I met, met earlier, he's real kitted out. You think he was just had a day pack on? He had his tent, everything in there. Everything you needed for camping on, on the move. Somebody must have helped him select that. But he's probably got a one man tent, a really, really skinny one. Which I don't want, I've got one. And it is a good little tent. Show the gorge, by the way, look, lovely picture there. Anyway, I'm just going to turn off and um, take a picture of that. Hold on a minute.